we have an eight percent preferred return on all of our deals, and we do the eight, and we pay monthly distributions. Some do quarterly, some do annually. We do monthly, so we do monthly distributions on an eight percent preferred return, otherwise known as a pref. So eight percent pref, and uh, we do that for most of our projects for 11 months. And then in the 12th month of that project, that's where we identify how much additional cash can be distributed above and beyond the 8%. And that allows us to be incredibly conservative uh, and make sure we have a healthy operating account should something unexpected take place uh, with, with our properties in months one through 11. Now, some properties, uh, we're able to do distributions above and beyond that. And when that takes place, we simply notify investors. And everyone's, everyone's really happy about that. Um, so the distributions uh, in that scenario where it's simply um, the 8% on track for 11 months and then 12 months, you take a look at what can you do above and beyond. Well, it's, it's simply, let's say the total equity was a million dollars in the deal, then 8% of that is $80,000, $80, yes, $80,000, divide that by 11, and that's what it, uh, that, that's where, that's the monthly distribution that is sent out to all the investors, um, uh, proportionate to whatever they put in. So if one person put in a hundred, then they get one t one tenth of that distribution. Uh, so that's that's how we do it, and it's the investors don't have a certain investors don't get a different um, percent of their return, different return percentage than others. Everyone gets the same percent return. Uh, but the amounts are different based on how much they invested. So if one person invested a dollar and then the other person invested $20, then obviously the $20 investment person would get a um, higher chunk of money, but it would be the same percent of their money. Okay. And then at, at each month, is that calculation done by, by you guys with the property management company do that calculation? It's the, the property management company does the calculation um, in future months, but uh, after the first month, because we just tell them, hey, this is our plan for months mm -hmm. one through 11. Yeah. And then in the 12th month, then we take a look at it. Uh, but it's, it's really just a simple calculation. Yeah, yeah, a million dollars, okay, we can distribute X more percent, okay, then what is that percent applied to all the investors mm -hmm. in the 12th month? And then if you're and if you're doing even, even in your underwriting process, you're kind of already starting to understand the projected returns and how that's you know, how the eight percent preferred return is going to work. And then if you're projecting above and beyond that, how that split's going to work. And you're even you're even planning out to you know if your exit strategies in five years, you're planning out how much money you're projecting to make at exit and how much of that may go to investor versus how much is going to go somewhere else. So you're, you're you're doing the calculations up front too. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, we, we buy the property, we have projections, but it's how is it performing today, and where do we see the market headed? Mm -hmm. um, but all roads lead back to capital preservation, and that's the most important thing with any investment, ask Warren Buffett. So we want to err on the side of <clears throat> caution when we do deals, and this is one component of that where we err on the side of caution, but then in the 12th month, we'll um, distribute the access above and beyond 8%. Because in reality, our deals have a higher projection in year one than 8%. Uh, so, you know, all of them have been able to hit or exceed that.